the hallmark drama, Chesapeake Shores, is coming to an end after some six seasons. The final season premiered in August and is set to end sometime in October. As we prepare to say goodbye to the O'Briens and the charming inhabitants of the Shores, let's take a look at where else you've seen some of your favorite characters from the show. First up, Megan Nori starred in Once Upon a Time. The actress plays Abby O'Brien on the show. She's the lead female character around whom much of the plot revolves. She's a high-flying career woman based in New York, a single mother to two young daughters, and the oldest of Mick and Megan's five children. After many years away from her family, she takes a trip to her hometown of Chesapeake Shores and decides to stay. She actually started her career in film and TV in the late 1990s. She landed small parts in shows such as The Crow, Stairway to Heaven. She also starred in Higher Ground, Vampire High, True Justice, and Intelligence. But probably one of her best-remembered roles is from ABC's Once Upon a Time. She played the role of Ruby slash Red Riding Hood for five years. God, we used to love that fairy tale inspired show. Up next, there's Hallmark favorite Robert Buckley. The California native joined the cast of Chesapeake Shores pretty late. He plays the quirky, cool billionaire Evan Kincaid, who first made an appearance in season five. But this is not his first time working for Hallmark. Nothing says Hallmark like Christmas movies. Buckley starred in The Christmas. Christmas House. The movie was actually based on his own family's holiday tradition of going all out to decorate their house for the season. He even co-wrote the movie. It was also the first Hallmark movie to prominently feature a same-sex couple. His other roles include Major Lily White in the comedy drama I Zombie. Clay Evans in the teen drama One Tree Hill, and Brian in the horror drama 666 Park Avenue. From wholesome Christmas movies to spine-chilling horror, that's quite the range Buckley has. Let's take a look at where else we've seen Abby's dad, Mick O'Brien. The character is played by veteran actor Treat Williams. He's had a long and illustrious career that includes roles in the 1979 adaptation of Hair the Musical. Williams had the title role in the 1981 movie called The Pursuit of D.B. Cooper. It's a crime thriller film film about the infamous aircraft hijacker who escaped with $200,000 after leaping from the back of a Boeing 727 airliner in 1971. Most of the film fictionalized what would have happened once he landed on the ground, but you might also remember from the TV show Everwood. He played the lead role of Dr. Andrew Brown, the neurosurgeon who moves from New York to Everwood, just like his TV daughter in Chesapeake Shores. Oh, and also played the role of Robert Buckley's father on The Christmas House. Talk about about connections. This year, he took on a grittier role as a retired Baltimore detective in the limited series We Own This City. The show is based on the true story of corruption in the city's police department. Coming up, there's Barbara Niven, who plays Megan O'Brien. That's Abby's mom, and she's yet another Hallmark regular. She has a long history with the network, going all the way back to her first TV role in the Hallmark Hall of Fame movie called Promise in 1986. After that, she appeared in big TV shows such as Wings, Cold Case, and the infamous soap opera The Bold and the Beautiful. She even played the iconic actress Marilyn Monroe in the 1998 HBO movie The Rat Pack. Niven has also appeared in numerous movies for both Lifetime and Hallmark Channel and played Peggy on Hallmark's first original scripted series, Cedar Cove. The Portland native is also a motivational speaker, media trainer, animal rights activist, and a national ambassador for American Humane, an animal welfare organization. Let's get to know more about Lacey J. Maley. She plays the role of Mick and Megan's daughter, Jess, on Chesapeake Shores. You may remember her from her roles on various other TV shows. The Canadian actress first rose to prominence for her recurring role in the post-apocalyptic sci-fi drama Falling Skies. She followed that up with yet another recurring role in the spy thriller The Romeo Section. The 31-year-old was also on the iconic show Supernatural. She played the alpha vampire special girl, Emily, in the season 7 episode called There Will Be Blood, and Deputy Jenna Nickerson in season 11 for two episodes. She joined her Chesapeake Shores co-star Robert Buckley on iZombie as Miss Schaefer, and there's the magician's role she had. Lacey was also in the rom-com Hallmark series, alongside another one of her Chesapeake Shores co-stars, but more on that later. Interestingly, the role of Jessie is the only main role of her career so far. Up next is the third O'Brien sister, Brie. The character is played by actress Emily 
Emily Ulera. Her character is a struggling playwright who lives in Chicago, and we had no idea she was from Denmark. You've seen her before as Dale Travers in Signed, Sealed, Delivered. Yep, that's the one with Lacey J. Maley. But that's not the only thing the two actresses have in common. Born and raised in Copenhagen, she moved to Canada with her family and went on to study at the Vancouver Film School, just like her co-star Maley. Ulera has also starred in other Hallmark movies, including Nature of Love and Don't Forget I Love You. Her first role was that of Julia Brin in the remake television series of Battlestar Galactica in 2006, the one which aired on the Sci-Fi Channel. She also played Ashley Magnus in the first and second seasons of the television show Sanctuary, until her character was written out of the story. Too bad. Up next, there's Andrew Francis, who plays Connor O'Brien. Francis has actually been in the acting business since he was a child. He's yet another Hallmark regular, with roles in Engaging Father Christmas and Coming Home for Christmas, as well as a recurring role as Derek in the third season of Cedar Cove. You might have also seen him in episodes of Psych, The L Word, Supernatural, and even the movie Final Destination 3. Quite the switch from the wholesome Hallmark Christmas movie scene. Not just seen him, we've even heard him. The man is a prolific voice actor for TV shows and films, such as My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Dragon Ball Z, and Dino Trucks. He's been a voice actor since the age of nine. His latest outing was in the 2021 movie The Unforgivable with Sandra Bullock. His other movie appearances include Knockaround Guys, Agent Cody Banks, and The Invisible. Such range, it's pretty cool. Coming up is another Canadian actor from the show. Brendan Penny takes on the character of Kevin O'Brien on Chesapeake Shores, but he's also starred in the Canadian TV series Whistler. But he's probably best known as Detective Brian Lucas in Motive, a crime drama that revolves around a team of Vancouver homicide detectives. And by now, it goes without saying that almost everyone on the cast has starred in other Hallmark shows and films too. And Penny is no exception. He's actually appeared in quite a few such movies, including Tis the Season for Love, A Dash of Love, Easter Under Wraps, and Beverly Hills Wedding. His other roles include shows like Diamonds, Smallville, Blade the Series, and The L Word. Also, did you know that the handsome monk actually has a degree in accounting? Let's take a look at Mick's mother, Nell O'Brien. The character is played by three-time Oscar nominee Diane Ladd. That's huge. She's been nominated for Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Wild at Heart, and Rambling Rose. She did win the BAFTA for Best Supporting Actress for Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore. And not just the Academy Awards, she's also a three-time Emmy nominee for her roles in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, Grace Under Fire, and Touched by an Angel. Ladd also played the character of Nora Griswold in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and Ida Sessions in Chinatown. She's also starred with her daughter, Laura Dern, multiple times. What's interesting is that the two have played mother-daughter on screen too. These were in Wild at Heart, Rambling Rose, and the HBO show Enlightened. And she's not just an actress, but also a director, producer, and author. And last, but certainly not least, Jesse Metcalf. He might have left the cast of Chesapeake Shores in season 5, but he's very much a part of the fan favorites. His character, Trace Riley, left the show in season 5. He plays a musician and is Abby's first love. After high school, Abby left Trace and the town without much warning. And in the fifth season, we see Metcalf's character leaving town. And now back to where we've seen him before. His breakout role was in a soap opera called Passions. He played Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald from 1998 to 2004. He also played the titular role in the movie John Tucker Must Die. But to be honest, we remember him mostly from his role on the wildly popular Desperate Housewives. He plays John Rowland, the teenage gardener who works at the Solis household, and goes on to have an affair with Gabriel Solis, played by Eva Longoria. On the Hallmark Network, he starred in Harmony from the Heart and the Martha's Vineyard Mystery Series. That's a wrap for this video. Who is your favorite character from Chesapeake Shores? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.